Hi, Italy Ho, Mr. Kaczynski with you. Properties of operations on rational and irrational numbers. And this is part of section A of Excel's Algebra 1 skills. Here we go. I think the key thing to remember here is um, this third option of could be rational or irrational is really only going to be in use for us if both the numbers within the expression are irrational. Then we might make a case for that. Let me show you what I mean. Um, P is rational, so we're doing a rational number minus another rational number. That's going to be rational. Okay, so we have two rational numbers, um, whether they're being multiplied, subtracted, added, divided, uh, it doesn't matter what you're doing to them. If you got two rationals, you're going to end up with rational. All right, but if one of them's irrational, like they're telling us W is irrational, and then 8 is rational, so if you have one irrational, you're going to end up with irrational. Again, no matter what the operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all of it. All right. Um, we've got u is irrational, and it's being multiplied by a rational. Okay. That's one rational with one irrational. That's going to be irrational. The only way it could be rational is if they are both rational numbers being operated together or both irrational. Number C is rational. Okay, we're doing a rational number divided by a rational number. That's rational. S is rational, but the square root of 13 is irrational. So rational divided by irrational will give us irrational. Now if it was irrational divided by irrational, that's a maybe. Kind of like this. But they say R is irrational. So we're doing irrational times irrational. That's a maybe, okay? If R is square root of 3, then square root of 3 times square root of 2 is square root of 6, which is still irrational. But if R is square root of 50, then square root of 50 times square root of 2 is the square root of 100, which is rational, because square root of 100 is a 10. All right, what about this? E is the base of a natural algorithm. Well, let's just memorize this, that E by definition is irrational. Okay, so we've got irrational number. Uh, Q is rational, we're being told. So we're doing irrational times rational. That's gonna be irrational, okay? However, in this one, E, which is irrational, and then D is irrational. So we're doing E minus D, or an irrational minus an irrational. That's a maybe. It just depends what we're subtracting. Okay, maybe it's rational, maybe it's irrational. So there's some places where you probably mess up as you go, but I think you'll learn from your mistakes quickly. Good luck. Let me know where, how it goes.